Hey guys, today I thought I'd demonstrate um, PC and Mac co-play co or co-op um, with the Xbox One or PlayStation 4 games consoles. So, um, I've got here an Xbox One S, or oh, you could do this with the PlayStation 4 as well, and I've got a Titan One dongle plugged into it, and that has, um, that's connected to an Xbox One controller, that's required for authentication with the dongle, and there's a USB um, port that comes out of this dongle, and that connects to my gaming PC along with the HDMI port um, on the on the Xbox. So the USB cable just goes into one of these USB ports and the HDMI cable goes into the Elgato capture card input port and on the output of the Elgato HD capture card I just have an HDMI um, headless dongle. That saves me having to plug into a TV um, into the card. On the screen here, my um, host screen, I have um, Battlefront 2 and as you can see this is actually just running running um, in a window from the um, Titan 1 software. Alright, so I can minimize that. And I also have G-Tuner, that's required, um, and Max, D, uh, Max AMDI plugin. Um, that's required for controlling the Titan 1 and setting controls over the internet. I also have Parsec, this is our co-play and remote access gaming software. Um, and um, this is going to allow a guest um, to connect to this machine and pass controls and see a very fluid, low latency video stream. Okay, so today this is going to be my guest machine. It's my laptop. Um, it's connected via my 4G hotspot um, and my cell phone. And I've got connected to this laptop an Xbox 360 controller. Okay, and that's just plugged into the, into the laptop by this Xbox 360 PC adapter. Okay, so this is simulating a friend connecting. So I'm going to press uh, co play to the workstation. This is the large computer beside me, so I'm going to click um, co play. And then what's going to happen is that we're actually going to get a request on the screen here to allow the laptop user to connect. And I'm going to click accept. And then in a couple seconds, they're going to start seeing a feed of the screen. Um, and I'm going to allow them control. Right? And on this Xbox 360 controller, I'm going to press a button. And that's basically going to enable the controller um, inside, inside of the, um, the system. And as you can hear, they're actually starting to um, press buttons inside the Xbox system. So, using this controller, I can now control control the uh, games console. And I might just mute it because it's a bit annoying. So, let me just mute that, um, and I'll mute it on that laptop too. And if I click in here um, in the middle of the screen, that's going to go full screen um, in a second. All right, let's go up to play. I'm going to use these bumper buttons. It's a little bit harder to do it actually without having a friend. Um, and I'm going to go to um, multiplayer and I'm going to, where's the co-play? The co-play is not that way. It is in this one. I'm going to go to arcade. Alright, there we go. Um, okay, now I'm going to go to co-op. Right, and I'm going to go to battle scenarios. I want that to go full screen. Give me a second, I'm going to make that go full screen on my main PC. So, me remember there's an exact output of what's going on here. Alright, cool. And let me just click that. And hopefully in a second it's going to go full screen. Alright, and on this controller I'm going to go light side. Alright, cool, let's go that one. And team one, cool. Alright, I'm now on this controller I'm going to press this button here. And now we have two players. All right, so this is this this controller is connected to the Xbox via like normal wireless Xbox three six uh, Xbox One controls, and that one is via the client machine. All right, so I'm going to click um, get through it. Oh, I think this one's the controller. All right, so you got to be sometimes careful because one can be player one, one can be player two, um, just by the way that you join it. Um, if I had started the start of this like start of the game with this one controlling, it would be um, the primary controller. Um, and now we just got to wait for the eight minute long loading period for um, Battlefront Two. All right, so um, this is going to be the white controller is going to be player two, I imagine. So I can go through and select my player two. Um, I'm going to be Luke, and on player one, I'm going to be Leia. <laughs> And on player one, I can run around, I can be Luke, I can be badass, I can spin, I can do whatever that button does. You know, full control. And then with Leia on the on the climb machine, I can do exactly the same stuff. I can run around, I can I can shoot stuff. You know, it's just a split screen gaming experience. Um, but over the internet. 
And this is also good because only one person needs a copy of the game, but uh, one person does need the, uh, the client or the friend connected does need an Xbox controller. Um, or a PlayStation 4 controller, but they need to be running uh, DS4 Windows, which is an application to convert it to X input, which is the Xbox controller scheme. But there you go, cool little tutorial, all done, cheers.